Assalamu alaikum, good morning everybody. Today we are going to talk about uh, differential equations. Differential equations is a new chapter, I think. You have many kinds of equations, as you'll observe. Now, before we start, we're going to observe what do we have in this. The objectives of this chapter is, we are going to be able to solve such equations, solve a differential equation of the form y n equal f x. Pay attention, this n is not a power. It's the order of the derivative. For example, y prime, y double prime, y triple prime, and so on. Solve a differential equation of this form. Solve a differential equation with separable variables. Solve differential equations of the third form, ay double prime plus by prime plus cy. And at the end, we are going to use a helper function to find such solutions. Now, before we start our study, let us go and try to remember something we know. If you see the symbol, this is y prime. What is y prime in your opinion? I think before we answer this question, we have to recall what is a function. As you know, a function is a, okay, is a relation between two variables. And as you know, each variable would be labeled as you know, as you like. Usually in math, we label them as x and y. Now x is called the independent variable, if you remember. This is the independent variable. And this is the dependent variable. Now we know that a function is a relation between this variable and that variable such that every x has only one y. Usually, whenever we deal with function, we call it f of x equals to, or y equals f x equals to. Now, what does the symbol y prime mean? I think you know it's the derivative of y, but how can you write it? The proper way of writing dy prime is dy by dx. Dy, it means that we are differentiating y with respect to x. And we are finding the derivative of y with respect to x. Let us uh, complete our record. Do you think that this antiderivative is uh, well known, I think, Sheikh? 1 over x plus b dx is 1 over a, then absolute ax plus b. And you know how to solve it. Now, pay attention, don't forget the absolute value symbol. In general, u prime over u dx is ln absolute u plus c. Now let us think, what is c here? You know that it's any constant because many functions could have the same derivative. Now the antiderivative of ax plus b, the, uh, the x is one over a, e, ax plus b, also plus a constant c. Also u prime u, it's the general formula, it's u plus a constant c. Now, if y equals f x, then y prime is dy by dx. Now let us pause for something here. I have a question. We are dealing with differential equations. The word differential mean we are going to differentiate a certain variable with respect to another one. But what do we mean by an equation? It's a very simple word. You know what do we mean by equations? Do you know what is an equation, first of all? Think for just a moment, then complete the questions with me. What do we mean by a solution of an equation? Now, if you are able to answer these questions, what kinds of equations do you know? Let us go back to the slides. We are going to deal with this chapter using this way. First of all, recall we are going to do this, introducing the meaning of a differential equation. What do we mean by a solution of a differential equation, introducing the types of differential equation, first, second, third, fourth, and so on. Now, differential equations. As you know, an equation is a mathematical statement that shows the equality between two quantities. There is a symbol which is equal between them. Sorry. Uh, Usually in an equation, we are, there are two sides, left-hand side and the right-hand side. Usually, we may call the left-hand side the first member, the right-hand side the second member. And uh, recall this word, the second member of the equation. Usually, an equation includes one unknown, two more than one unknown. It could contain the, uh, sorry, uh, degrees and so on. Now, the aim of the equation is to find the solutions. Uh, kinds of equations that we may know. Equations in one unknown of different degrees those equations that usually we deal with, first degree equation in one unknown, second degree, third degree, as you all observe, and uh, degree of, in power n, of power n, sorry. Now, if every equation may have one solution, two solutions, uh, or more than two solutions, it depends on the domain that you are dealing with. Now, also it depends on the power of the, degree of the equation or the degree of the equation. These equations talk about numbers. So the solutions of that equations are going to be numbers, either complex or real numbers. Now, let us recall, what did we do previously? If you have f prime is the f by dx, and uh, you will remember that if a belongs to the curve of its function f, then f equals b. If uh, there is a tangent to the curve at a certain point, 
m is the slope. This means that alpha prime of a is equal to the slope of the tangent, which is m. These are examples of both equations, first degree, second degree, third degree. And as you observe, such equations could have one or two solutions, has no solutions, solutions of real numbers, all solutions in the set of complex numbers. Let us take this example, or take this example. This is y prime plus 2x minus 1 equal to 0. Do you think that this equation looks like these equations? In reality, I don't think so, because those equations, they talk about numbers, but those equations, or this kind of equation, it concludes about y prime to x and minus 1. Let us go back to there. y prime is dy by dx, okay? So there is a relation between y prime and the independent variable x. Now, as you recall, uh, usually in math we call the functions y and x, the variables of a function y and x, f of x equals something. There is a y prime plus 2x minus 1 equal to 0. Do you think that this equation, this is an equation, of course, this is an equation. Why? Because there is two sides, left-hand side and the right-hand side. Can you describe this equation? I think that, and you agree with me, I think, there is a relation between y prime and the variable x. This is the independent variable, and this is y prime, which is the derivative. We call this the first derivative of y with respect to x. What is the unknown? Is it a number? I don't think that it's a number, because if you replace any number, this equation would not be satisfied, because there is a y prime here. We are now learning what do we mean by a differential equation before we start solving such differential equations. In such equations, we search for functions. These functions are called the solution of that equation. Now, can you find the solution of that equation? Let us think. Do you know a function which is, I don't know, let us think about it, such that the derivative of that function, plus 2x minus 1 equal to 0, think for a moment, and we are going to complete. Do you think that this equation has one solution? Okay, let us go. How can we solve this equation? Now you know, if y prime equals minus 2x plus 1, how can we find y? y can be found using the properties of integration and the techniques of integration. You know that integration of y prime dx is y. The integral of minus 2x plus 1 is minus x squared plus x plus c. Now, c here is any constant. In differential equation, usually we use this word, arbitrary constant. What do we mean by arbitrary constant? It means that it's a constant that we may choose, but it's not the only one. Now we observe that it has infinite number of solutions because they differ than each other from, the, sorry, by the constant c. All the curves of this uh, family of functions they look like each other, they have the same form, they differ from each other by a variable c, or by a constant c, I'm sorry. y is equal to minus x squared plus x plus c. It's called the general solution of the equation. Why it's the general solution? The general solution because we have found all the possible kinds of functions that satisfy that equation. A special solution, we call it a particular solution, if we are able to determine the value of c. Now, if you want to determine the value of c, what do you need? to find that variable c or that constant c. Come on, think for just a moment. Let us take another example. It will be uh, clear more, I think, that, and the idea will be clarified more. Now solve this differential equation. Let us recall, the differential equation is a relation between y prime, x squared, a variable x, and a constant. How can you solve such equation? As we did previously, we are going to say, if y prime equals x squared minus two, then how can we find y prime? Simply by integrating both sides, we get this, then, y is equal, you know that the derivative of 3x squared is x cubed minus 2x plus c. This is a general solution. This is the general solution of the equation E. Now, for instance, if we need to find the particular solution of E, let us call it f. We have asked previously, what do we need to find the value of c? We need a given information. Now observe, how many constants do we have here and we need to find them? There is only one, so we need only one information. This information is given by that. The curve of that function passes through the point A of abscissa 1, ordinate 2. If abscissa is 1, this means that x equals 1. If ordinate is 2, then y equals 2. Simply, we are able to replace. Instead of x1, instead of y2, calculating, we get the value of c, where c here is equal to 3. Now. In this case, we have, can say that the equation or the function f of x, the function f defined by f x equals x cubed minus x plus 3 is a particular solution. Now I need you to observe something here. What you are going to see here is a curve of a function. But this function, it is this. It's x cubed minus x plus c. And uh, whenever you are observing the curve of that function, you are going to see something, to observe something. Now think about it, and then we are going to explain. Now observe. 
This is the function. What does m here represent? m here represents the constant c that we have talked about previously. So as you observe, if m varies, the curve of the function will vary. But they, or it keep the same shape. So this curve, or the family of these curves, represent the general solution of the equation E. Now, if we need a particular solution, we may give one of the information. For example, a certain point that the curve passes through. So let us pause this function, for example, at that position. So this is a particular solution. Why? Because it passed through that point, or that point, or that point, and so on. So whenever you need to find a particular solution, we need F an information. One of the informations could be a point or a tangent to that curve. OK, we are going to move on. Now, what is the definition of the differential equation? As we did previously, you know that a differential equation is an equation involving derivatives. The order of the equation is the highest derivative occurring in that equation. In another word, it is a relation between the function. Let us call it y, f, g, as you know, as you know, and as you want. The independent variable, let us call it x. In general, in math, we call it x and y. And the derivatives of y, the first, second, third, etc. So it is a relation between x, y, y, y prime, y double prime, y triple prime. Uh, there is a note here. Whenever you see this, we have. Uh, mentioned previously, this represent the nth order of the derivative. So the derivative of order n. Okay, don't be confused. Okay, examples of different kinds of differential equations. Before we start this, I'm going to introduce many kinds of differential equations. Not all these kinds, we're going to deal with them. Okay, they are not required from us, but it's uh, nice to see them. We have, First order linear differential equation with constant coefficient with a second member. First order, what does, it, what does it mean? First order, it means that the derivative is the first one, it's y prime. Now, linear, linear, observe y prime and y. There is no y prime squared, there is no y squared, there is no ln y, there is no sine y. So, yes, it's a first order linear differential equation. With constant coefficients, observe a, b, and c are constant here. This one of the kinds of equation that we need to deal with use all, all along this chapter. Uh, the right-hand side of this equation it not, is not necessary to be zero. We mean the coefficients, as I mentioned before. Now, this is a second-order linear differential equation with constant coefficients. Observe, this is y double prime, 2y prime minus 3y. There is no y prime squared. There is no y double prime squared. There is no y squared, only y, y prime, and y double prime. Second order, since the order of the derivative is 2, and all the constants here, all the coefficients are constant. The third kind, y double prime plus 2y prime minus 3, y minus y, equal to 3x minus 1. Now, the difference between this and this, the existence of this function is 3x minus 1. We are going to deal with that type of equations, but not in the beginning of that chapter, or of this chapter. Now, observe. This is y double prime squared. So it's second order. Why second? Since y double prime. Type, it's nonlinear. Why nonlinear? So, or as you observe, it's y double prime squared plus y prime, blah, 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 etc. cetera. Uh, AY plus BY squared equal to zero. It's first order nonlinear differential equation. Also, this is a second order linear differential equation. But as you observe, the coefficients of Y and Y double prime and Y prime, if it exists, are not constant. And the last one, observe it. Also, it's second order linear differential equation, but the coefficients are not constant. Now, we are going to limit our study in this chapter to the first and the second order linear differential equation. With constant or without, uh, sorry, with a second member or without a second member, we are going to deal with both cases. Remarks, we need the techniques of integration that you know. Techniques of integration that we have, uh, recall them, one of the rules or two or three of the rules and the techniques that you have already know. And sometimes, whenever you see the statement, integrate the differential equation, it means solve the differential equations. Find the solution of that differential equation. First type, let us try to solve such each of the following differential equations. You know, we have examples A, B, C, D, and E, and F. You may take, for example, about five minutes to think about them. Then complete the uh, watching of that video. Let us start with the first one. If y double prime equals 3x, then y prime equals to 3 over 2x squared plus b. How did we get that? Simply, if y double prime equal to, as we see here, 3x. How can we find y? We cannot find y unless we find y prime. Then we are going to find y. So integrate for the first time. This is y double prime dx equal to 3x integration dx. 
Now, what is the antiderivative of y double prime? Simply, it's y prime. The antiderivative of 3x, it's 3x squared over 2 plus a constant. Let us call it b. Now we have found y prime. We need to find y. Again, integration of y prime dx is the integral of 3x squared over 2 plus b. Don't forget this constant b dx. Then y is equal to, you know that, the antiderivative of x squared is x cubed over 3. We get x cubed over 2 plus bx plus another constant. Let us call it a. Now, this is called the general solution of the first differential equation. Now, observe, in the previous equations, we have found only one constant. Here, we have two constants. In your opinion, if we need to find a particular solution of that equation, how many information do we need? Yes, I think that we need two information. They could be two points. They could be a point and a tangent. They could be many, many things, but we need two points. Now, observe, the second one, as we did in the previous equation, we have solved it, following the same technique. The third one, 2y prime minus 1 over x equals 4. Now observing that, don't forget the absolute value of x is very important. The equation in part d, y double prime minus e power 2 minus, uh, 2x minus 1 equal x. Now, you know the antiderivative of e power 2x, what does it mean? And you are able to find y prime, then you are able to find y by simply finding or using the techniques of integration. Y, y double prime minus 2x e to x minus 1 plus 3 equals that. Now, x e to x minus 1, as you do know, as you remember from the integral part. Now observe. If we need to solve, especially for our exponential and polynomials, this 2x plus 1, let us say, for example, e to x minus 1 dx. All of you know the tabular integration. We may find the derivative of the polynomial, the antiderivative of the exponential, 2x plus 1, the derivative is 2, the derivative of 2 is 0. Now the antiderivative of 2x e to x minus 1 is half e to x minus 1, so it's 1 over 4 e to x minus 1. The signs here are plus minus, and as you recall, you are going to multiply this result by this result, and that result by that result, keeping the signs as we did here. It's the integration by parts, but it is summarized in this table. It's special for the exponential and the polynomial functions. What did we do here is that technique. At the end, we are going to find or to solve the, the last differential equation in this chapter, which is y prime minus e power to x minus one. Also, you may find that uh, solution using different techniques of integrations. This is the first part of that differential equation of this chapter. We have finished it. Now uh, revise it, uh, try to understand what did we do, and we are going to complete later on. Thank you.